Hello, I'm John, a Cloud Support Engineer here at AWS Office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how you can connect to an Amazon RDS MySQL instance using IAM credentials instead of the native authentication methods. Let's get started. Before you begin, as a prerequisite, you must launch a DB instance that supports IAM database authentication. I'm using RDS MySQL. Also create an Amazon EC2 instance with MySQL client that connects to the database. Firstly, we'll activate IAM DB authentication on the RDS DB instance. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the RDS Console. Choose databases from the navigation pane. We can see the DB instance, which I've already created. Select this and choose Modify. Scroll down to Database Authentication. Choose Password and IAM Database Authentication. Scroll down and choose Continue. Then choose Apply Immediately and modify the DB instance to activate IAM Database Authentication. This will take one or two minutes, but there will be no outage. We'll create a database user account that uses an AWS authentication token. I'll navigate to the Amazon EC2 console. In the navigation pane, I'll choose Instances. I'll select the EC2 instance, which I've already created, and I'll click Connect. I'll connect via Session Manager. I'll then connect to the MySQL DB instance endpoint by running the following command. Enter the account password to log in. I'll enter the command to create a database user account that uses an AWS authentication token instead of a password. I'll enter the command to require the user account to connect using SSL. I'll type the exit command to close MySQL. Now we'll add an IAM policy that maps the database user to an IAM role. Navigate to the IAM console. Choose policies from the navigation pane. Choose create policy. Choose service. We'll choose RDS IAM authentication. Under actions allowed, we'll choose all RDS IAM authentication actions. Under resources, we'll choose specific and select add ARNs. Enter resource region. For this example, I'll use AP Southeast 2. Enter resource DBI resource. Enter resource DB username. For this example, we'll use DB user. This will build the resource ARN. Choose add ARNs. Scroll down, choose next. Enter a policy name. For this example, I'll name it MySQL Policy. Scroll down, choose Create Policy. Now we'll create an IAM role that allows Amazon RDS access. Choose roles from the navigation pane. Choose Create Role. Choose AWS Service. Use case, choose EC2. Scroll down. Then choose Next. In the search bar, find the AIM policy that we previously created, which is MySQL policy. Choose Next. For role name, I'll enter MySQL role. Scroll down, choose Create role. Now we'll attach the IAM role to the Amazon EC2 instance. Navigate to the Amazon EC2 console. Choose Instances from the navigation pane. I'll choose the EC2 instance that we'll use to connect to Amazon RDS. Choose Actions, Security, Modify IAM Role. Attach your newly created IAM Role to the EC2 instance. Choose Update IAM Role. Now we'll return back to our Systems Manager console. We'll use Get Caller Identity to verify 
that the EC2 instance is using the IAM role previously assigned. We can see the role we created is in use and will be used during authentication. Now we'll download the certificate bundle to be used when connecting to the database. You can download the certificate from the Knowledge Center article linked in the video description. Run this command to download the certificate bundle that works for all regions. I run this command to download the certificate bundle that works for a specific region. In my case, AP Southeast 2. Now we'll connect to the RDS DB instance using IAM role credentials and authentication token. We'll set the variable RDS host with the endpoint of the RDS MySQL instance. Then we'll set the variable token, which in turn runs the generate DB auth token command. Now we'll connect with the certificate bundle that works for all regions. We've connected successfully. To verify the connect is using SSL, we'll run this command. I'll exit out, and additionally, we can connect with the certificate bundle that works for a specific region. In this case, AP Southeast 2. We've connected successfully. Again, to verify the connection is using SSL, we'll run. So now we've connected to an Amazon RDS MySQL DB instance using IAM credentials instead of the native authentication methods. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Oh,